Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's collector car series video. And say, Tony, what's a, isn't everything you sell a collector car? Well, not in the sense that, that low production, very few left, yada 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 makes for a collector car and that's what we have here today and i want to go over some of that with you because it is a big deal they build approximately 30,000 of these worldwide right uh in this year this is 2024 we're doing this video this is a 1984 40 years 40 years old this car is beautifully restored tone it's been restored what yes not only do we have restoration photos we have receipts and things like that from uh, rebuilding of the engine all new paint uh, all new interior uh, brakes yada yada going on and on and on there is so much money spent on this car restoring it that what you're paying for it is roughly half of what it costs to restore it that's the way to buy a car not to mention being one of 33 five-speed manual of these cars is super super rare we're gonna spend some time looking at it. Uh, let's check the quality of the paint. Let's check the interior. Let's check the engine compartment. You're going to want to take this car to a show, right? And you need to know whether you can do that. So let's get started. All right. So as I'm walking around the car, we start with, I think it's still an iconic wheel. It is a beautiful mesh wheel from the factory like that with a set of Michelins on here. All right. This is Coronet gold metallic, right? So it has a lot of metallic in it. Outside, it is an amazing color. Inside here, it might even be better. But important to you is to shine. And important to you is if you go to a car show, how's that going to be handled when you pull up there? People are going to look at it and they're going to go, well, that is a really nice car. And you can say, you know what, the paint on this car is really nice too because I can see everything nice and clear. I know it's a nice car. And that's why we do the video this way. We do the video so you can see what you're getting. You know, pictures can be, uh, I'm not saying manipulated, but they can be deceptive in the sense that everything looks shiny in a picture. In a video, you get what you're seeing, you see what you're getting, and uh, it makes a decision much easier. I just love the way a luxury car's hood opens forward like that just like the E-Type that this car was uh, taken from. You know, a lot of people think that the six cylinder is a lot more reliable than the 12 cylinder. It makes great power. This one happens to be fuel injected as well, right? So this six cylinder has been going on since 1961, iterations of this engine, right? That's a long time, man. This, is, uh, this car is from 1984. This is, this is what made Jaguar uh, famous in racing because these engines were so bulletproof. And then you have uh, all the restoration that's gone under here, nice decals in places like it's supposed to. If you want to open it and go to a car show, you can. It just looks nice and clear. It makes great power and it makes a great sound coming out the tailpipe there. A six cylinder a la you know, M3, uh, 911, those kinds of cars, they just, uh, they just made a great sound. Anyway, uh, this coupled to the five speed, and a four-wheel fully independent suspension. The rear suspension in this car is super cool because the brakes aren't outside on the wheels. They're inside next to the, the housing, uh, taking away some of the weight from the back there. These really do handle well, but more importantly, they ride well. You can go away all weekend somewhere in this car. It's designed for long-distance grand touring uh, cruising, and uh, you can't go wrong with something like this. So back here, we have that great looking dual exhaust and great sounding, by the way, not to mention uh, the rear end that we talked about there, fully independent four wheel suspension, but the rear end is pretty exotic. Most uh, very high end street rods that are built use a Jaguar uh, suspension back here because the brakes inside just look so beautiful. This is also a functional car. Forget the styling. Let's talk about the styling for a minute. The styling uh, here with these flying buttresses, uh, this is, again, a Grand Touring Coupe, right? It's designed to do uh, high-speed travel, but it's also designed to go away. And so when I look at this trunk, I say, okay, this is a luxury car because every piece of it's carpeted in here, right? Um, it smells good. It smells like, like real wool carpeting. I don't know if it's real wool or not, but it smells like it. It smells really good. Anyway, it's all finished the way a luxury car should be, a la. The British just do it right, man. When you think about it, well, are British cars are uh, really great. Well... Uh, and styling, yes, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, Jaguar, right on and on. They definitely, uh, the Brits know how to do style and they do it really well, especially here. The style of these cars is unmistakable. You're walking up, you drove it to work today, you're walking up to it, you're going, man, that doesn't look like anything else in the parking lot. It just doesn't. And while this is spectacular outside, the inside is super, super luxurious and all new. And I wanna spend some time in there for a second and talk about that. The color combination in here uh, is just wonderful. 
Look at this cashmere leather, these beautiful cognac carpets in here. All the wood here has been replaced, right? Uh, two ashtrays. Well, why are there two ashtrays? Well, believe it or not, they're not for uh, smokers on both sides. This was a world built car. So the steering wheel was on the left on some, steering wheel was on the right on the others. And so to make it easy, they just decided to put in two ashtrays. So regardless of where, uh, where this car was sold, it fit the bill perfectly. Power windows. This right here is a traveler trip computer from the 80s. It's really very cool. It tells you your instant fuel economy, average fuel economy, uh, average speed, time until you arrive, right? It's really a cool piece and it's functioning the way it's supposed to. Uh, all of these switches have been restored here, working the way they're supposed to, and a full array of gauges. Like there's gauges everywhere. You have a 160 mile an hour speedometer. You have a 7,000 RPM tack. This right here, the shifter is nice. You're not gonna see one of these again. The likelihood of seeing a five speed in your lifetime is super, super slim. And we have one, which is crazy. Anyway, uh, this does have an upgraded audio system in here. We could put the stock radio back in and maybe hide that in the glove box if you wanted to keep it all original and kind of take it to car shows and things like that. If the radio doesn't bother you, we'll just leave it right where it is. At the end of the day, with the wood, everything all restored here, this is probably a $15,000 interior because everything from headliner to seats to carpets to wood to all this stuff here, beautifully, beautifully done and, uh, and super happy to be able to show it to you today. All right, so we closed up this video. Let's run down some of this stuff for a second. This car is 64,000, roughly 800 original miles. That's less than 2,000 miles a year. Less than 2,000 miles a year, all right? That's pretty impressive to begin with. Second, we have all new paint. We have new chrome. We have new interior. We have rebuilt that, restored this. All of the detail stuff is done for you. You can get in this car, drive it home, take it to a show, do whatever you want or just enjoy it. It's really, really a wonderful driving. Such a different experience with the manual transmission. When's the next time you're ever gonna see one and you're gonna kick yourself if you don't get it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000 and tell me.